Okay, so over on GitHub, the files are completely available. Now, one thing to note is, is that the solution is not 100% open source, but there is some open source components to it. So if you head over to GitHub, then you can just scroll over here to releases, and then there is a zip file right here that you'll want to download. Once you download and extract that, you're going to have a diagrams folder, tnc 4.0, as well as the tnc++ 2.0. So if we go into one of the folders here and open up the diagram, then this obviously is for the fat model. And then there is the slim model. Now, one thing to note is, is that there is not a pro model. And we go to tnc++ 2.0. Then you'll see that there is a fat diagram for the slim and for the pro. So the key thing to take away here is, is that if you do have a pro, then obviously the tnc++ 2.0 is probably where you want to begin. Next up, there is the actual flasher itself. So these are the hex files that you'll eventually upload to your TNC device. And then the application, which was shown in the YouTube video is just right here. And obviously you would need to have a TNC connected via USB in order to use this. And currently I don't have one, but for the 2.0, you just use this hex. And for the 4.0, you just use this other hex. Finally, there is the PS4 Syscon tool itself, and it just has the executable, a config, and then a DLL. Obviously, I don't have a Tensi, as I mentioned just a second ago, so I really can't do anything with it. And then one other thing to note is that over in the issues, there is a issue that has been created to add Arduino Nano V3 support. And there was also an ask right here to open source the MCU firmware, which is right now closed source. Now, if you do go back over to the main GitHub page, you will see a little bit more information about what it is, what are some of the features that it has, some of the requirements, which we've already been over, the connection diagrams, and then some credit, and then for updates and future releases. And I did want to point out that the PC application is currently available. We could actually examine some of the code for the application. And then there was some sort of question as to whether or not this PS4 Syscon flasher came directly from them or if it was pulled from Better Way Electronics. Better Way Electronics did put out this tweet right here that said, good news and bad news, that they used their own shell code. So congratulations on making something unique. So at least as of right now, it does appear that at least the PC application part was absolutely theirs and it was their own and that they did not take that from BWE. Now, one thing I will note here is, is that BWE has stated that their method will brick chips bricked ours during testing. The program cannot erase or validate the data correctly. Full write up soon. Now, he has obviously shared some information on that. I cannot confirm or deny that this is a problem. Usually with these sort of things, it usually takes some time for people to go out and about, to give it a shot, to try it, before we get to the point to where, oh yes, we actually have confirmed, everything works great. But we can see that already over in the GitHub that they've got, that they have already updated the program to version 1.01, .01, and that commit was created yesterday. So they're definitely actively updating this as of now. Then if we go back over to Better Way Electronics page here, we can see if you scroll down just a little bit, that there is some brand new prices. So the very first one is, is that the Syscon Rider Blue Edition is now for 190 US dollars. So this obviously went down from the last video that I posted a day ago, which previously it looks like it was $252. There is also a few other discount models such as the Prototype Syscon Rider Purple Edition, which is now 133, and then even the Prototype Error Edition, which is now sitting at 100. And that is absolutely because of this new PS4 Syscon tool. 
And if you are wondering where to get all of the parts to try this yourself, there is a tweet that is currently out. And this has links to pretty much everything. So the Tensi 2.0 plus plus, and there it is. Now you can go back in here and you can see that there is the resistors. There's also a breadboard, which I don't typically use these that often. The jumper wires, another breakout board, and then a clam shell socket. I don't believe all of this is needed. Mainly what's needed is going to be the Tensi 2.0 the resistors here, and then obviously some wire, your soldering iron. But I'll leave a link to this if you want to go ahead and start sourcing some of the parts. And then for the folks that's been asking, why does BWE charge this for? He said right here, it said it's been free since 2018 until 2022, but that he had almost no donations. I have to provide for my family, so what else am I to do? Change my line of work entirely? My PS3 tools were also free, but they got no donations in the four years that they were available. And then he puts right here that says, since 2008, I've received about $500 to $800 in donations. So yeah, the lack of donations is a major factor to why I charge money. And finally, I did want to mention this. Better Way Electronics has on their site very clearly that the target market are repairers, hence the price. So he has never really been looking for the kind of home consumer market that we're probably all very interested in. He typically is selling these things to folks that may make a living, or they typically do make a living, off of maybe selling repair services on eBay, downgrading the firmware with the CoreOS swap, repairing a couple of these different BIOS errors and some UART errors, and that his tool in general has significant protection against bricking, which we may not have right now in this version right here. So obviously do your research before you do any of this. There's always going to be some risk in opening your PlayStation 4. Well, anyway, I hope that this is very objective and just prevents the facts as I know them right now. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Michael, out!